Hi, boys and girls. How's everybody doing tonight? It is about 7.30 on Thursday night, so you and I are usually not chatting during this time. But I wanted to come on here and introduce you to our new reading website. Uh, it's for the You Wonder series, our reading book that we have in the classroom, and on it you'll be able to read our weekly stories, do some worksheets, even take tests on the website. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen so I can introduce this to you. This is our website that you've been using to go through this week's lesson plans. And this tab I've sort of been developing and adding websites to is another one that you may have already accessed. But Wonders Reading, this is where you'll go to be able to access our <clears throat> reading material and assignments for the week. So you will click on that. And I've already sent along your password. So you may have seen this on an email that went along with the Zoom call information that I sent out. So it was attached to it. I will send it again, but again, you'll click on that Wonders website. Then you'll click on Mrs. Tarquinio's class and then you will find your name. So find your name and click on it. And if I go to Let's see, who did I just uh, learn the password to? Jacalmi, I believe it was. So Jacalmi was, I believe, two grape diamond. I hope that's it. Woohoo! Okay, so this is where you will uh, begin to get in. You should see your name up there when you get in and you click lunch. Now, I have gone ahead and assigned some things to you. So it was not meant to be a true assignment. It was really just practice for, for me, practice for Mrs. Tarquinio to learn to use this website. So once you log in here, you're gonna say, oh, I have work to do. Well, if you wanna go in and practice it, please by all means do, but it was just me sort of getting the hang of the system. So this is your main homepage and you can access recess, resources, excuse me, uh, stories, books, level readers. Um, they have some games here. You can do some journaling here if you like. And my binder is going to be important and we'll, we will come back to that. But you'll always wanna click over here to do. And so you'll see that you have some current work to do. And eventually once you do it and you know that you've submitted it, there will be a check mark next to it. So for example, I assigned our beautiful tree here, which is a reader and it, these always have to do with the story of the week that we're doing. So the story this week was the art project and it had to do with using Earth's resources and using different things. And so our beautiful tree, that sort of goes along with the same theme and you'll notice the same vocabulary words there too. Now for a, an assignment like this, I may have you read the story and then answer the questions at the end. So how do you know our beautiful tree is fiction? Tell me about the problem and solution. So that might be, oops, that might be an assignment for something like the leveled readers. Now, if you, if I go back, you might write in your notes in the answers to those questions. For example, well, how do I know it's fiction? Because, because there were cartoon, I know it was fiction. Ooh. Bad Mrs. Tarquinio. I know it was uh, fiction because, and answer your question that way. And then you will always click submit. And then as you can see, there's a little check mark on the side there. Now vocabulary in context. This is where it's gonna be something new that you'll see. Again, where you wanna make sure that you are putting in your answers and saving it, because this is interactive. So this will eventually take the place of the Microsoft forums that you've been doing, and you've been doing a really great job with that. So I hate to move on to something new, but apparently this, is, uh, this system is just as well. So now I need to stop share and do this again, because last time I recorded it didn't work. So let me see if I can share this. Hopefully this shares. Now hopefully you should be able to see, once I check this recording, the vocabulary sheet. And you are able to use this in an interactive way where you can type in your answers directly into the worksheet. So if you see my little mouse here, down here this capital T and it says type. 
Now you would then go in and read through it. Sam was eager to learn or blank about coal. And then take your time to go through the vocabulary words or curious about coal. He traveled quite a blank to the library. He traveled um, quite a distance. So this place was not close. Okay, and then you would go on to, fill, uh, to finish it. Now, where you go from here is you would click on save. If you see the save, the disk button down here, save, and you're not quite done yet. That does not mean it is submitted. So you can X that out. And I need to share my screen again, excuse me. So share it again. And now vocabulary and context. Now this sheet has moved over here because you've saved it. Now you could write a note to me that says finished and submit. And now notice your assignment, it says your assignment has been submitted and there's a check box on the side. So I may go in and assign a few more things just from this week that you can practice with, not graded, but just getting used to typing in those answers. I think for next week, I may stick with the Microsoft Forms just so we can stick with what we know for one more week and then to make sure that everybody's going in and doing this. And if you don't mind sending me a quick note that you went in the website or by doing a, a sheet that, that is assigned to you, I'll know that you've been in there and you've been practicing how to use it. Okay, so um, that concludes my little mini lesson on our new Wonders website. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to send me an email. I will talk to you all soon. Have a good night.